Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fortress Evolved. I'm Accent Evolved, and before I get started, I am I'm, I'm contemplating and I'm trying to figure out what the next long-term series is going to be. Now, don't worry, I'm going to finish this one to the end, all the way through with the railgun and all that stuff. So, this this series is obviously not stopping until we're through. But, you know, I want to start planning ahead. I want to start looking ahead. I want to start, you know, I kind of want to get a feel for what games you guys want to see me try to take on. Uh, I played a couple in the past and, to, you know, to varying degrees of success. And, uh, you know, I'm a, a big fan of Satisfactory and, and those types of games. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments about what I should look into playing next once this series is done. And, you know, I also have other ideas for, you know, other playthroughs of this game do you know trying to do things in different ways and you know bigger grander crazier you know all, all kinds of stuff so got that out of the way let's hop into this episode so something that happened that i forgot to update you guys in the last episode was we finished this research so let's go ahead and collect particulate filtration and ooh Efficient vein extraction. What does that give us? I bet that gives us something like really good. Uh, we don't have compressed freeze on, right? So that's something we need. We have those though. Trencher drill mark two. This drill still needs some improvements if veins are to be drilled into without loss of materials. I mean, I, I don't think that's, I don't think that can be helped, right? So we're not going to do this one yet. Like wh what is, th what does this give me? Rapid logistics. There's so much stuff I don't know what it does, right? Mass storage IO port, okay. Uh, long range cryoplasm defense gives us. Oh, the melters and the dazzlers, okay. So it looks like. What does this need? Dang, we can't do any of this stuff. It looks like the next course of action once we get our uh, smelting set up is to start doing the. I guess like the bottling. So let's go to the research and see like if there's anything there we need to unlock, because I'm sure there is. All right, what new recipes do you have for me? Um, oh, magnetic block. Okay, so I know I'm going to need all these. All these block assemblers. I've been saving up the... What are they? Advanced? Which ones? No, not advanced. The other one. Where is it? Imbued machine blocks. I've been saving up a ton of those to prepare for all these new blocks that we have to build. So I've got like... 14k on me so hopefully that's enough particle filter do i need this Ooh, i think i do okay well i'm gonna get it particle compressor particle storage gas bottler i've been reading a little bit on this process and it seems like it's very uh how do i say this there there are a lot of pieces that go together to make this system very uh useful right so or I guess efficient is the right word. So that's all kind of taken care of. One thing I want to do since I've been saving up the bars, I want to get this suit power pack Mark II because I know it's like almost all of our Molly, but it's pretty necessary. There we go. Okay, and then I can get, I know there's like a, where is it? There's like a suit power pack Mark II. Oh wait, no, I just got that. Suit upgrade module, here we go. There we go. Okay. So now we throw this stuff back in there. And now we have all this room here for other things like the uh, power power supply box or the, the things we're crafting down there. Anyway. All right. So there has been some other little things here and there that I've done that... Oh my gosh. 1024 power. That's amazing. Uh, I, I've done things down the cool cavern. So let's take a look at kind of what's been going on down there. So you'll notice up at the top left, we've killed 6,100 cryoplasm. And honestly, like that hasn't really, <laughs> I haven't really done much of that. But what I have done is if you'll notice, there's now a new block assembly up here, right? That shoots over. Well, I kind of have worked on a, a, a prototype of our point defense system, right? So not really so much here, obviously. But over here, you can see the cryoplasm has been beaten back because what I've done is I've just put uh, lancers on these Mark IV batteries. And they're all connected with um, conduits. So it kind of has beaten back a little bit. 
And really, it's just kind of to stem the tide. So I'm going to expand this out this way a little bit. In fact, I don't know... You know, one of the easy ways that I found to do this, to kind of, like, get the ball rolling forward a little bit, is to kind of do something like this, right? You just kind of do that. You kind of do that. Do I have any Lancers on me? Or have I used them all? Uh, it looks like I don't have any on me. So what I can just do real quick is I can just, like, borrow, you know, one from each of these. So we'll just grab those. And we'll toss this on here. And this might be the strategy in the short term to uh, start breaking out towards the, the spawners. Like, I realized that I made quite a mistake when it came to getting these all... Uh, doing all the prep work for the cryoplasm. But we can't change that now. We're far too into this to, <laughs> to try to figure out how to, how to undo that, right? So... Uh, this is kind of the prototype, though, of what I want to do. Now, I realize this is incredibly power-hungry. And I may end up actually changing this so that there's kind of like a central Mark IV. So, like, get rid of this intermediate one and that intermediate one. And use kind of just Mark III power transmitters and uh, batteries and Lancers this way, right? Because this is just, it's really expensive. You know, that's a whole Mark IV battery and two conduits. And I'm not exactly rolling in either of those. So that's probably going to be the plan. You know, I can kind of like come off of here a little bit and then split out either way and put Lancers wherever I need to. So that's probably a long-term plan, especially considering that we need a whole perimeter of these because all the corners are being attacked. In fact, if we go look at the map, I've actually rotated the map so we can see it a little bit more clearly. But... This one at the bottom is the one we're currently fighting. You can see the blocks. But you see everywhere else on those corners, it, it's just starting to butt up against our walls, right? So we're going to have a lot of fighting to do on the perimeter. So definitely stuff that we're going to have to take care of later. Uh, maybe I'll get some of that done up this episode, but it's just so expensive, honestly. And I need all the materials to, to kind of smelt to make that happen. Also, I, I, <laughs> I realized I kind of didn't do this in the best way I could have, right? A, a better way to do this would be to have just one Mark IV battery, right? Set up for each lift. Space the lifts out even more than they already are. And again, I could potentially change how I'm doing this. So it may not all be lost. I just don't know how uh, close together they'll end up being, right? So what you wanna do is you put the Mark IV battery right dead center on here, right? So you have like Mark IV battery faces parallel with the outside of the elevator. And then what you can do is set up your, you know, your hoppers. You go one, two, and then like another two right here. And depending on how your power is coming in, you just basically put one corner of the blast furnace, right? So like one corner right here. So that when it goes up to its full height, it's touching the battery. And you can do that on all four corners. So that you get all four blast furnaces running off of one Mark IV battery with a conduit. A dedicated conduit, which gives it all the power. And then all four of those can output into one casting basin. So, we may end up changing how we're doing things to accommodate that. Uh, I might, you know... I might still be able to make it work. I might be able to retrofit this as is, but we may end up having to change that just for efficiency's sake. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's working for now. It's still a work in progress. Um, but if I if I could figure out how to move one of these, that might be the most ideal scenario. So, that's the update on that. Uh, but you'll notice there's something going on over here. There's a whole building over here, right? And this is something I wanted to kind of work on. Because there's another component that we're severely lacking in that we need to kind of continuously build, right? So if we follow all this chrome into this nice little room here, uh, we got this whole little machine going here. And you might, some of you might notice what this is already, but this is our new uh, lens chroming assembly, right? I've only got three set up. So not the fastest thing on the planet, and this is not as fast as we could possibly go with this. But it does, it, it, it works, right? So what I've done is I've come in here and dropped all these crude lenses. We're still making those up on the surface. So as they 
uh, craft and build up. I just grab a bunch and hand feed them down here. In fact, I don't even know if I need this extra bulk set up. So these crude lenses are going in here. They're just getting polished. The, the polished lenses are then getting thrown into these chromers. These chromers are sharing a chrome supply and then they just output out this way. And I don't know, you know how many chrome lenses we've had. 78, so that's not bad at all. And again, these are used for both the lancers and the conduits. So very important that we kind of have a, a nice stockpile of those going. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. I think once we get the bottle bottlers up, we can do something about heating this room so it doesn't take so much power to just exist in here. But I don't think that's a super, super big uh, priority right now. So. What do I want to do this episode? I want to try to expand that a little bit. Maybe kind of reconfigure it into something a little bit more sustainable. Um, I may end up actually just redoing this whole thing. Because I'd like to throw in a bulk cargo lift. And I'd like to almost have all of this, you know, have like a dedicated line for each, uh, each lift setup. So this may all be coming down. This is probably going to be coming down. And then this all just kind of get redone. But let's look at the particulate filtration stuff too, because I haven't I haven't really like dealt with this, right? So Okay, chrome machine block and magnetic machine blocks. That is a thing, right? So we definitely need this. Because we need the stuff it creates to uh, do further research to make our ore extraction more viable right so it looks like it goes filters two compressors so one compressor can have four filtration units and then one particle storage can have four compressors and it doesn't say anything about bottled gas okay so i wonder if it makes sense but these all take the the Machine blocks and resin. Jeez, that's so... All right, well, I guess the next thing is let's look at those machine blocks, right? Magnetic, chromed, and hymal. So I can make one of those. I can make one of those. And I can't make this yet. So maybe that's something we can also kind of do in this room, right? Because we're pumping in way more chrome than this thing needs. And we... Mm, I'm very torn right now. I think I, I want to do like a real basic setup for these chromed and, and magnetic blocks. But I also want to set up the furnaces so that they're 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 working more efficiently. And I'm wondering so like and I'm still smelting um, Molly at the surface, which is kind of crappy. So I think I'm just gonna do what it takes to set up more of these. I think, I'm, I think I have to redo this. I think it's way more efficient that way, right? So, ugh, what I'm gonna have to do now is redig some shafts for my elevators, which means I have to break the elevators. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. But I think it's the best thing to do. So. Uh, actually, let's go down to these and kind of scope out the differences, right? So let's go to Chrome. And so down here, we kind of see what we can do, right? We could hypothetically take this elevator and put it right here. We can have, you know, a line of three right here and put the elevator right here. The only problem is, if you remember, there's a shaft right here that... This shaft is where all the power comes down, obviously. So, oh, and I really don't want to move the shaft around if I can help it. Because it just, I could hypothetically like offset things, you know, like put another battery up there, push it out, and then have it come down and beam in this way or something. But I, I feel like that'd just be like a, a pain to deal with. So... I have to think about both setups, right? I 
I, I need these two lifts to be far enough apart that I can put the blast furnaces around them. And so I'm wondering, right, if we go to the surface and the elevator is right here, or the lift is right here, that means that any blast furnace I put on this side is going to hit this shaft, which isn't going to work. So I may have to put this here. Let me let me take a note here, right? So where am I right now? If I put the lift right here, the center of it would be this block, which is 85, 12. Okay, let me go back up to the surface real quick and, and mark that. 85, 12. Don't let me forget that. 85, 12. All right, so there's 85, 12, which means the lift would be three blocks around this. And I it looks like I'd have room for blast furnaces without messing with that. So that's the chrome worked out, sort of. That's at least a potential for chrome. I guess I can always hypothetically move the trenchers and stuff to kind of make this work, but you know, it's just kind of a pain. This is all kind of a pain. I should have listened to you guys <laughs> before I started doing this, but you know, here we are. All right, so let's look at the molly. Okay, so where is 85? 85, 12 is over here, right? 85, 12 is right here. So that's where the other lift is, which means this one, if I put it, oh my gosh, if I put it over here, right, it will be, that would be the line of hoppers and this would be the new lift space, right? Let's kind of clear this out a little bit. Give ourselves a little bit of breathing room here. So hoppers, lift, lift, boom. So this is 8918. So let's look at 8918. All right, so here's 8918, right? And if we th if we look here, this would be the corner. So I'd either have one, two, three, dang. One, two, three. I may actually be able to do this, right? So if this is the corner of the lift, right? Let's use a different, here, let's. These represent lifts, right? Let's just mark this out as best we can, right? Lift, 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 lift. And obviously lift and these are lift. So these would be the two lifts. So if I use, I don't know, trusses. This corner right here is really the issue. I have to offset these in, in, in such a way. So like I could either do something like that and then something like this, right? So it'd be like one, two, three, one, two, three, right? And then this one would just be out this way. This is the only part that is actually, here, let me, let me change this to, to glass, right? This is the only part of the whole build that has any conflict because everything else I, I could just move around, right? And then this side, I would do something like that, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three. Cause they're three by three, right? One, two, three. Yeah. Three by three by seven. So this would end up being something like this because remember we need one of these faces touching the lift area because it's going to have a mark for battery which is where all of these are going to get their power what the f can, can i help you and then i do wonder if i can hmm if i do something like this right this is gonna it, i don't like the lack of symmetry right you ideally want you want them kind of like this right on each side so then you can just put hopper hopper but i don't know if them touching is going to be an issue especially because I can't put hoppers right here. I could put a hopper right here for here. I could put a hopper here for this one. I can't, th these hoppers are the issues, right? I don't know if it's gonna just try to grab from both. I guess I could hypothetically do like one, two hoppers, one hopper, one hopper, and then just hope it all works out. 
Because for this one, this one I could be, I, I could do it traditionally, right? Because essentially right where this lift is now, there will be another blast furnace. And right where this lift is, there'll be another, so the chrome would be fine. The chrome would work out perfectly. It's the molly that would be a little gross. And I, and I don't know how well these work when they're touching. Hmm. I guess another option, right, is I can do this. I could do something like this and move it up so that these ones are touching. Right? So just do something like this. So I have two blast furnaces touching here. Space those ones out over there the same way. But then, if I do that, then I could put one, two hoppers. And then maybe I just move that one over and do one, two hoppers. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I think it's time to dig some new holes. I didn't think I was going to be doing this, but you guys made really good points. And I watched some, uh, some flexible games uh, videos where he was kind of doing this. And I saw how well this works. So I think the only thing left to do now is to kind of just make this work, right? So, let's take these out. Let's take these out. Okay. Hello? Oh, it's trying to unload everything. All right. Let me just take all the stuff out. Boom. Okay. So, that'll do its thing. There's so much molly in here. My inventory is full. I can't hold anything. Okay. I'm going to get all the stuff ready for this. And then I'll meet you guys back here when we are ready to like start digging and building and doing all that stuff. All right, so here's the new location for the chrome shaft. So what I did is I actually set this up uh, right here in the old elevator shaft and just shot up and had it basically clear all and drop everything. So I got most of like the rack rails back, I think. I have a ton of rack rails, but I do think I lost some cargo lift controllers because you need nine, right? And there's only 11 here and there's two cargo lifts. So I may have to remake some of that stuff. I don't know where it went. You know, that's a, that's a far drop, so who knows, right? So uh, we're just gonna power this up, let us do its thing. And I'm kind of hoping actually, I didn't take this into account, but I'm kind of hoping that nothing is in the way of the lift that we're going to build down there, right? Down in the molly. Like, I hope it doesn't go up through that. I didn't even check that. So let's look at that real quick, actually. So the molly is going to be 8918. Okay, so 8918. So if we go back to the chrome, 89, where is that? 89. Eight, 18? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Well, that just won't work. <laughs> crap. We might have to redo this. Um, okay, okay. Let's, let's take a gander back at Molly. So, in order to not change anything... Let's see, we're going back there because right here, right, one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. So, what is this, 85, 14? Okay, 85, 14. Where does that put us up, up here? 85, right, so 85, 14 is right here. Okay, so that won't work either. Crap. Um, now I'm trying to think, is it more important to, I think it's more important to offload where we want to be than it is to load. Cause we can, I mean, I can hypothetically, right? If I have, you know, three hoppers, well, I can get under them, right? So I can pull with pipes 
from three faces if I had to. You know what I mean? Like, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. Right? And then if I'm going back into another one, then we just go up, in, and then down. So loading the lift, I don't think is going to be that big of a deal. So if we're willing to accept that, am I full? <laughs> of course I am. Okay, so here's the chrome. And in fact, that looks like it's done. Scan complete. All right, well, let's let's go up there and take a look, right? Because arguably the chrome is more important right this second, but Molly is definitely a big thing too. So did that clear off everything? It probably didn't clear my own blocks, but there is a shaft. All right, so I'm just going to assume that that's going to be okay. Well, let me clear this out because if we can just end up moving this kind of back this way, then we can get a really clean kind of setup going, right? So let me clean all this up. Okay, so right here, we, we'll have enough space for Blast Furnace, right? In fact, do I have any... Let me just get all the stuff smelting that I have. God, that's so much molly that I have on me. Kind of ridiculous, actually. Okay, so this will work out just fine, right? In fact, what do I need to build another blast furnace? Well, you know what? I, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to <laughs> I need to get the, the cargo lift going back. One, two, three, four. All right, do I have cargo lift controllers? N no, I don't. Okay, that that's fine, that's fine. We'll just put them here. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this is going to get a Mark IV battery on top of it. Dedicated to this, right? Boom. Okay, Mark IV battery. Way to go. You did it. Now, I have a couple options, right? If I can get this lined up with the Molly... So if I put, if I can manage to get the molly and keep the molly on, what is this tile? A X equals 85. Then I can do a conduit from that battery to the Mark IV battery that's going to be on. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so close. What is that one for? This whole, this whole situation is going to move once those are done smelting, right? Once those are clear, that's all going to move. So I'm going to get three batteries back and one, two, three sets of conduits. But if I can keep the molly lift on X equals 85, then I can just do a conduit from here to the molly and then from the molly up to, you know, wherever it's going to connect or vice versa, have it connect, th you know, through here because I could even just put a conduit here. I just wonder if that'd be enough. I would. I, I just need to make sure that this battery, this because this is the one that's driving everything. I need to make sure that this is getting as much input as possible. I think it'll work. I, I think we'll be okay. Okay. So I need to go to like x equals eighty five. Z is like thirty maybe. Like give us a little breathing room. Okay. So x is eighty five. Z is thirty. But before I do that, I actually do need to get this powered. So. I need to power it so I can start getting the rack rails going down. So if I do some like that, some light up there, this should be sufficient. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Or it should be in the right spot, I should say. Um, and it's not. It's off by one. Now, let's just hope I don't lose all those battery pieces. I think I did end up losing some Mark IV battery pieces when I when I broke everything. So, that kind of sucks. But, you know. We'll make it work. Alright, that looks lined up that way. And it's lined up that way. So, that should work. Uh, let me just 
Let me think here. How good are you? You are done, right? You can't. Okay. So you're done, which means I can completely dismantle you. And you've got nothing in you. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So that'll kind of do this thing. I can actually completely take these back. Oh, wait. Um. Hmm. Let me actually build this to get this out of my inventory. Because I need to build... I need to take apart this whole structure first. And now we have two batteries going. Alright, so now I can just throw this on there. And just throw in the rack rails. And it should, ideally... Dang, I lost a lot of rack rails. You know what? It is what it is. I got a ton more at the surface. So that'll set itself down a, a number of spaces, right? So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the lift for the molly. And then we'll start, I'll throw the blast furnaces and the uh, everything back onto it. So remember, we wanted to be at like X85 Z30, right? Or really just anywhere on this line. So if I just kind of come over some, let's get a little light going. All right, so right here. So if I kind of dig out around. This should be the lift location. And again, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think that we're far from the motor here because we can pipe everything. We can pipe everything like the animals we are. You know what I mean? But I also need to break this, right? So let's get some of these rack rails back. And then what I'm going to do is, again, throw this down right here. Make the radius very small. Make it very tall. I think that's about it. Clear all. Drop all. We'll overcharge it and mute it. And then I'll put a... Um, I want to put some hoppers down, right? So by picking that up, that means I can throw down this. Put it on. Vacuum on. And then we'll just kind of route some power over, right? And then it should kind of... Oh, no. It's not going to pick it up. All right, all right. Quick surface run. We'll be back. All right. So we've at least got the the bones of what we're doing set up. So it, this is going to be a little bit easier to visualize, I think. So if we look here, where is my blast furnace? Hello, Blast Furnace. Um, I know I have them. Blast Furnace. Here we go. So if we look, the Blast Furnace is going to go basically right here and right here. And the same thing over here. So it's going to go like three here, three here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put uh, one hopper here, one here. One here and one here. In fact, let me just throw them down so you can see. So, like, hopper, hopper. Remove only. Hopper, hopper. Remove only. And then I'm essentially going to do a blast furnace. Like, I'll do this one just for example's sake. Right? So, one, two, three. Boom, 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 boom. Right? And then we go up. What is it? Seven? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And just like that, blast furnace. So this is now getting power from the same battery that is powering the lift and drawing from this hopper. So it's there, there's like no transfer time. I may end up swapping these out with 2,000 slot hoppers, but I don't know how big the, uh, the bulk cargo lift is. And I'm still waiting for the rails to even get down there, so... Oh, uh, yeah, lost a lot of rails, a lot of rack rails in the process, so it, it'll take a while to get that one up, too. But 
This also means that our casting basin, we can kind of take it down and get it uh, set up over there. Now with a casting basin set up, uh, we kind of have to be a little bit cognizant of where we're going to go. In fact, what is this? Why is that there? Oh, this is just to kind of block that off so you don't die. Okay. Well, luckily we have an output here. We'll have outputs there, output, output, right? So we want to make sure we're going to repeat this pattern right over here with this. So we want to make sure that everything's kind of casting in an open area. And I'm kind of thinking, uh, what if I come like, well, really, I guess I could just even go like right here, you know? Um, yeah, give myself a little bit of wiggle room. So, right, so like something like two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Kind of something like that, you know? And then, so now we have the casting basin, right? Now, there's a reason. I, I didn't line these pipes up directly because uh, I'm going to have these four blast furnaces that are eventually going to connect into here, right? So I want to make sure that the closest ones kind of go to the farthest away uh, hookups, right? So I'm kind of thinking like this one will go here. This one will go here. The this this one right here will come to this one and this one will just come all the way back. Or I do something like this one connects to the back and that one connects to the side. That way the front and the closest side are more accessible to the back ones. I think I'll actually do that. So I need to make some casting pipes. And luckily I think I have a little bit of Okay, where oh crap. I don't remember where, where these are. Um are they here? Okay, here we go. So I want like quite a bit of these, but then a couple, I don't know, like 10 bends. I'm probably making more than I actually need, but you know, it's fine. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna make it work for us. So let's do bends right here. Uh, where are you bend? Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's see here. So if we're going to do this one to over here, then we kind of want to do that, that, right? And it's going to go right there. And then we can just do blue, just like that. And that should work. In fact, I can even just throw what little chrome we have in there, right? Where are you? Rail depth 474. I'm willing to bet that that is the bottom. Let's double check before I throw the, the bulk cargo lift in there. But for collection, I'm going to... How is this doing? Is this empty? Yeah. But I think I'm going to go on the outside here. So like right about... I don't know, like right here. Or maybe I should go on the back side because I'll probably end up, I'm either going to expand this room and use it for more things or build another room for like block assembly. So I think for now, I'll just put this right there. So let's go double check the, the, the lift and see if it's at the bottom. All right. Looks like everything is good. So we'll go ahead, drop the lift in and then the Chrome is, is back up. Like we, we. It took a little time, but I think it's it's best, right? I think this is going to be a more efficient setup for us, and which is going to lead to, to more stuff, right? So, boom, improved cargo lift. Uh, top unload all, bottom load all. Yeah, I think that works. Looks like it's doing things. It holds 2,000, so it should put 500 in each one. Uh, now, I want to get a casting basin going, a casting and a blast furnace setup for the the molly as well, but I need to get the rails going. So let's throw what little I have in there. I'll have to go to the surface and get more, but we're going to do the exact same thing, right? Just like this. Boom, boom. And then we can take a look as that slime just uh, ended its own life. Uh, blast, it, blast furnace. I need how many clicks of these? 
I need seven clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need 15 clicks of these, and I only have seven. So I need more molly. So it looks like I need to go to the surface anyway. So let me go grab that stuff. Well, actually, I can build a blast furnace, huh? No matter what. Um, let's do this way, right? I think that works. Nice. Okay, so now that'll at least start getting fed once it has the stuff. Boom. I'm just going to put it in there because <laughs> why not, right? Oh, God. Got to be careful about that. Uh, have you produced anything? Not yet. Oh, but it's it's about to. There we go. So this should be like any minute now, right? Boom. Okay. So that's at least working. All right. Let's run to the surface so we can at least get all of that set up and auto crafting so I can get rid of the arc smelters up top. Alright, so we have enough components for the new blast furnace, or the casting basin. So I think I'm going to actually put this one over here. Uh, I probably should have actually done that with that, but because the, like, power tower is in the way, uh, I, I said over there. But this one I think I'm just going to put over here. Uh, I know we like symmetry, but we're not, uh, maybe I should just keep it symmetrical. Nope, 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 it's fine. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five two three four five so we'll put it right about here all right and so kind of the same thing i'm going to take these two close ones and well let me think here it'll basically be like two on the left two on the right back um i wonder if it's better to go hmm i could do something like Kind of out and into this one. And then this this one over here can kind of come out and around. Yeah, I'll just do that. Because I'm not like super flush with casting pipe anyway. So it'll kind of be nice to just get it all set up. Just like that. And we'll put a 2000er uh, right here. And again, this one will be the blast furnace that goes right here. And then this front one will hook up right here. And this one will hook up back there. Boom. Easy, easy. So that's actually really nice. So once this does its thing, once this is... God, we're almost already out of that stuff. Once those install, then we'll be able to grab all the things we need. Do I have any? Okay, I don't. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I can actually hand feed this while I'm waiting. Like it's already kind of doing. Which means that everything is working out swimmingly. Are we getting molly bars down here? Yes. That's okay. So what's super nice about this is number one, we need a lot of this production to make the the different blocks, right? The magnetic and the uh, chromed blocks. But then on top of that, we need all. So we need the blocks to make all of the the gas injectors, right? So that. We just took a huge step. And with all these polished chrome lenses, uh, I think I think I'm gonna have to work on this a little bit in between episodes because it's getting a little crazy. You know what I mean? Like we're getting a little bit out of control. And I need to make sure that this doesn't like overwhelm the perimeter of my base. So I think I'm going to call it an episode here. There's just a little bit of administrative things to take care of that I'll do in between episodes. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out for this video. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying, you know, this this Frozen Factory stuff. I know I am. It's definitely a learning experience. So, again, let me know down below if there are any other games you want me to try to tackle next. And uh, I'll kind of aggregate any responses I get and, uh, you know, check out the games and see if it looks like something I'd like to play. But, you know... Again, not taken away from Fortress Craft, but we got to start thinking about the future. You know, eventually we're gonna beat this game, and I, I don't, I don't know how fun it would be to roll right into a new season of this game after we just beat it the first time. So let me know down below. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. You know, cost you nothing, helps me out. And with that, guys, we'll see you in the next one.